last ever Monday morning at university. Oh my God. So yes, this is my last week at university. We finish on Friday and then we've got a bit of a time off and then we start our placement the first week of September. We're all waiting for our allocations, which we're hoping is gonna to be today. So I will record it. I'm a, I think I've got district nursing, but I'm not too sure whereabouts. I'm hoping it's near my house. So I don't have a an hour and a half trek like I've had for these three years. I'm hoping it's gonna be close to my house. It's not gonna take long to get to and it's gonna be a really good last final placement, please. But yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready, get to uni and I will vlog you later. So that's me, I'm home and oh my God, what a day. So today we only had one lecture and I completely, completely forgot that we were told that this was gonna be a two hour seminar and we had a guest speaker come in to speak to us. So I went into uni and I sat down, I was like, oh yeah, this is the day. This is the day we've all been looking forward to because what, from what we've been told, it's gonna to be really inspiring, really motivating and it's gonna be a really good session not to be missed. It's been classed as mandatory on our timetable. So I was excited. Now, before you do anything else, before you watch any more of this video, pause it and I want you to look up Tommy Whitelaw. Um, he is the creator of something called What Matters To You. Sorry, I was just looking at it on here, just getting it up for you to sort of show you. And um, this is the page that you're looking for on the website. Wow, my screen's really dirty, I'm really sorry. But that's the screen that you want to see when you look up Tommy. Have a look at all of the blog posts, the videos, the video stories, letters as well. Oh my God, you need to look up this man. If you're on Twitter, follow him on Twitter, follow his stories. This is the person that come and spoke to us at university today. And I think every single nurse in the whole entire world should hear him speak, hear the story and just be amazed because he's such an inspiring man he's absolutely amazing and everything he said today we were all just like wow and we were blown back by it it was so inspirational so motivating it was absolutely amazing he told his story about his mother and sort of the loving bond between him and his mother and how he cared for his mother she had vascular dementia and it was the sort of story and the, the stories that we sort of forget when we're looking after somebody because we're so focused on the symptoms of somebody and we just forget that actually they're a human being and that shouldn't be happening. We shouldn't be doing that at all out there in placement on, in practice. Not, not one nurse, not one doctor, healthcare assistant, housekeeper, not one single person should be forgetting that who you're caring for is a human being they have a life they had a life before they entered hospital or your services and it's really important to find out what matters to them and make sure that you acknowledge that and look after them as a human being not as a sign and symptom and it was just such an amazing 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 talk and it's he it was just right i was sat there like yes yes like nodding along because i was like you're right you're you're so right and do you know what, if if we could have a Tommy in every single hospital, every single community setting, every single trust across the whole entire world, worldwide, the healthcare system would be a much, much better place because everybody needs to hear that message and everybody needs to be doing that daily. So that's it for today. I just wanted to say that we did have an amazing day. It was really inspiring, really motivational. And I'm gonna leave you with how our day ended it was on a high it was on a positive and here it is <laughs> hi everyone so it's like 11 o'clock at night and my group chat for our uni group is going mental because the allocations are out for our management placements oh my god for me, I knew that because I'm doing the community rotation program, I knew I was going to be in district nursing somewhere. Um, I was just praying it was going to be near my house because every placement I've had has been an hour and a half on bus journeys and they asked for our postcodes for this one. So I was praying to the high gods, to anybody that's listening to me, to give me somewhere close, just for my final send off, give me somewhere close to my house and make it nicer for me. And guess what? it's two miles away <laughs> two miles away guys no more 5am starts 
no more late nights to come home and you're barely eating because it's too late to eat and you're trying to wind down from your shift because you've had a hell of a bus journey home you've got no idea how relieved i am oh my god i am chuffed i'm so chuffed two miles away i can walk that i can walk that probably in 30 minutes I don't even have to get a bus if I don't want to. So whether I jump on a bus for five minutes or walk for 30, we'll find out. But either way, I'm so chuffed. I'm so happy. I am ecstatic. Thank you so, so much. Whoever gave me this placement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm chuffed. And yeah, that's all I've got. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I've got a day off. I'm planning to do my dissertation. I might start my poster presentation as well, split it up a little bit because my poster pres poster presentation comes first. That is the one that's due in first, so I should probably make a head start on that because that's next month. Um, and I want to get that done and dusted. Not next month, sorry, September. Post presentations in September, I've got two months. Um, and I want it done, dusted, ready, so I can start practicing what I've got to say in the actual thing so that it come to the time, I'm confident. So yeah, so that's it. I just wanted to share that news while it's here. It's fresh. The emotions are running. I'm happy. I can't wait. And now I'm probably not going to sleep because I'm too excited. But yeah, I'm going to give it a go. I shall see you all either tomorrow or Thursday. Last day of lectures. We're causing mayhem. We have stolen the selfie board and we're outside taking pictures in random locations around BCU. That's it, that was our last ever lecture for transition to qualified practitioner oh my god i can't believe it's the last one it's gonna be the final university lecturing vlog oh, it's emotional um we had a great day we had um the selfie boards we ran off with it it was great fun we had a really really good day causing mayhem and mischief we thought we would because it was our last day and have a little bit of fun with it so yeah it ended on a high it's amazing that we've all come so far together and these are people that you've been have been your family for the, like the last two and a half years to just over two and a half years now we've all bonded we've laughed together we've giggled together we've cursed at some point in this course together and it's just been amazing it's been so good and that's it so in today's lecture what we actually did was before I start getting all emotional so in today's lecture we had to get into our subgroups so at university you will be in one big main lecture hall for all of your main lectures but then you might be broken into smaller subgroups to do your manual handling basic life sport things like that so we had to get into our subgroups and we were given the task of sort of delegating or not delegating, but deciding between us who was going to go first for our poster group, who was going second, third, fourth, fifth, organising our whole poster presentations for the day, what time slot we wanted and what our topic's going to be and writing it on a piece of paper and then it's done. So mine is first. I said, please let me go first. And luckily they were really nice and let me go first. So mine is 9.30 a.m. on the 18th of September and my topic is delegation. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm actually not nervous for this one. I think it's going to be all right. It's quite transparent. I know what I've got to do. I know what I've got to say and it's going to be amazing. I'm not really bothered about this one. Um, I don't think many people will fail this one. Fingers crossed. I say that. Fingers crossed. Don't want that. Um, and yeah, but that's it. That'll be the next thing I probably vlog with uni work will be post presentation. Maths exam, which is coming up in a couple of weeks, end of the month, we have got our maths exam, which I'm not too worried about. I think I'm all right with it because we get calculator and I know how to work things out. So I think we'll be okay with that one. Fingers crossed, we have to get 9 out of 10 for that. But that's it really. I'm going to stop talking now and it's just been a really emotional week. It's been amazing and it's really sad that it's come to the end of our university life. 
but now I'm off until September and we've got a nice break. I've picked up some bank shifts, some work. I'm going to think of some vlogs to do as well between now and placement um, and then when placement comes obviously I'm going to vlog all about it. District nursing, I'm there. You're going to learn so much from me about it hopefully. But yeah, if you've got any ideas, if you've got anything you want me to cover, anything I haven't done yet, anything you want me to go over again, let me know and I will do a vlog for you. I'll also go through, I made a list as well of vlogs. I'm going to go through that list because I wrote some down and just see if I've covered them all yet. If not, I'm going to do that and yeah but I'll, i'm gonna still vlog don't worry guys i'm gonna still vlog every sunday try and get something out there for you hopefully it'll be useful helpful especially coming up to september i know a few of you are starting university so i'll think of some things um to sort of prep you maybe for that and yeah we'll see anyway but for now it is goodbye i shall see you next week um, not too sure what we next week's vlog is going to be all about, but we'll see. It'll be a surprise. And yeah, have a great week, guys. That's it, guys. This is our final evaluation session of the week of university. That's it. Done. <laughs> We're sad. We're going to miss uni now. I know. So I thought I'd end it on a high and do what was our top was moments or best moments of our two and a half years so far at university. Go yeah. Pooja. Okay. <laughs> My best moment would be at placement. Uh, one of the patients came up to me and she hugged me and she cried saying, Thank you, so that was my best moment. That's so nice when that happened. Uh, my best you moment, uh, just coming to uni, seeing everybody here. Yeah. <laughs> <No. laughs> it's nice, yeah. yeah it's nice, because I'm going to miss that. Yeah. And I'll post a group, I'll post a group. Oh yeah, this is our post group. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to miss it, yeah. But, well, what can we do? And we're going to miss Claire's video <laughs> oh, <yeah>. vlogging. <laughs> I'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna enjoy nursing guys yeah, it's, it's not gonna be easy, easy but yeah, you'll you'll get make it. Yeah. if we can make it you can make it as yeah, well yeah if we can all pass this course <laughs> well, anybody can ask me to get on oh yeah, yeah. we're gonna all pass bye-bye yeah. right. good luck good luck everyone